guys. This is so much fun. <laughs> okay, let me hurry up because I'm slow as hell. things to go. Okay. All right. So this one is a Lizianthus. Lizianthus. And, it, and it's like an open rose. Okay. So we're going to do five of these. So it's, a, it's, a, it's in the rose family? No, it just looks like open rose. Oh, it just looks like open okay. <laughs> yeah. So, and then these buds, again, will give you some more texture. So you want to keep some of these buds on. Because some of them, will, the larger ones will open, actually. But the smaller ones usually don't. But they, and unlike roses, these don't smell at all. Okay. Most flowers don't smell anymore. <laughs> Most are manufactured in yeah. different places that don't really grow anymore. You know, completely naturally. You're doing good. It's looking good. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> so just anywhere you have holes of this one other flower after this that we'll put in. Okay. And then again, we'll just add a little bit more greenery at the end. Just fill some holes. And Lysianthus are also a good flower again because they're lo very long lasting. Lysianthus. 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 Yeah. Lysianthus. Delicate too, so I should use. Usually, those, but yeah, you, this is the hardest to me. Use, usually, this is the one I'm going to do is the calorie. If, if two of the same type of flower are too close to each other? No. Because sometimes we do that intentionally. This is more of a garden style arrangement. Mm -hmm. You know, basically like kind of what you would see 
in nature. Right. <laughs> so we just, you know, we were in the garden, but a more modern style, like the one that I did for your friend, um, Jen, it was more clustered. So all the flowers, like there was like five calla lilies together, five roses oh, together. So that's a right. more modern style and it would be less green. Okay. And that's also the style that we did for the BET Awards. Right. I always felt like that was a no-no to have the same flowers next to each other. I don't know why I thought that was. So, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it just kind of depends on whatever your style, style is. Style is, okay. Oh my so, I would say this is a more popular style right now. Like the, What's this style called again? I'm sorry. This is more gardeny, like Garden. loose. Earth style. Last thing will be the spray roses. There are spray little, roses. little mini roses. And again, if you just have any little bad petals, you can so. pull them off. But then you don't ever want to touch flowers on the top. Just do it on the side and gently pull it so that you don't damage it. So if you take it in, just pull it, and then you can just gently take it off of the side. And most flowers have guard petals, which do have to be removed sometimes. Especially, and if you find that you have some flowers for a while and they're not opening, then take off the outside petals because they're holding them together. Just so the we'll gap. do three of these, and then again, if you have any more holes, then you can just add. Again, if you have a flower and it just has like a couple bad petals, you don't have to throw the whole thing away. You just take just a little off. a lot of movement with the different greenery. Just add it anywhere? Yeah, just anywhere if you have a hole or you just want it to come out more. And as you can see, that if you do it looser, then you'll need more flowers. If you do it more compact, then you can use less flowers. But you wanna try to have 
subs, how you have some space here, mm -hmm. you know, a little space because things will open up, like the roses will open more, uh, the things will open up more. Hydrangea doesn't really open and neither do the, these dahlias are already open. Okay. And calla lilies, it will stay the same, but again, the roses and the spray roses and then definitely the astromeria, will open up. you know, opens up more. So you want to have some spaces, but you did a great job of that. You covered all of the oasis, the oasis. Is, is the, the name of the phone so you name don't name of the phone yes okay so oh, you yes. want to make sure that everything is covered and like on mine where you water then i use the greenery to make sure that you want to have everything and so you can kind of tell too um mine is a little looser because again in the water the flowers aren't quite as tight compared to like again when you put in the phone like that's it yeah <laughs> it doesn't really move around but again the water is still a little looser okay that's christina's and this is mine i've got a little hole right here so maybe Looks a little bit more professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, it took a couple years to get here. Yes. Okay, yeah, if anybody good. wants to come buy these uh, arrangements, they're available. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Scarletflowersdesigns.com. Or hey, just I'm right on IG. I'll respond to your message to your instant. I mean, yeah, just DM me. Um, it's team at Team Scarlet. And if you would like to come and learn, yes. just hit me up. We do <laughs> classes uh, with a lot of people. You know, you can have a group class or just individual lessons. You can come here, or we can come to you. Do they have any questions? Do you guys have any questions? I'm looking a little sweaty and oily. <laughs> so loud. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's not. It's not uh, hot in here or anything. It's just my face. All right, they're saying they love it. What kind of? Oh, that's not it. Do you guys have any questions any for questions? us? Anything you want to know about flowers? My favorite favorite flower. It's orchids, right? Orchids oh. and roses. Roses are just like classic. They're kind of basic because I don't know. They're everybody's they're flowers. Too, yeah, yeah, but there come so many nice colors. Yeah. Colors. Okay, what other any other? How much is an arrangement of such? So how much would this this one, seventy-five. Uh, we start at sixty for delivery, but this one will be seventy-five. Seventy-five, which is a great price because if you go into the grocery store and you get one of the little small arrangements, that's already like that'll be like fifty bucks or sixty yeah. bucks for something not as beautiful as these. So. 
Yes, we just um, made these arrangements. You missed the class. Um, can you use too many flowers? Yes, you can if you put too many in one vase because again, like I said, they need to drink a certain amount of water. So you want it to be proportional to the vase. Like we couldn't put both of all these flowers in this one vase. Because right. it wouldn't drink enough water, stems would fall out, you know, it just wouldn't. It and wouldn't then work. again, the proportion wouldn't be right because the vase would be so small and the flowers would have to come out. So you have to kind of balance the size of the vase to the amount of flowers that you have. So, so balance the amount of flowers with the size of the vase yes yes okay should we change the water in the vase yes i didn't know that i thought when you get a beautiful arrangement it's just a beautiful arrangement and it's done but christina told me that you should change change the water or add water so it depends so if i took this home today yes I should add or change water. So when you have the foam, just add water. Okay. But if you have... So this is the foam, guys. Yes. That's because inside that, of the vase. The foam... The base. What Oasis. Is made out, yes. Oasis. What it's made out of kills a lot of the bacteria. But if you have it just in water, then you can then pour out the water and start it. So you should... If you have the chicken wire, you should... Um, you just kind of tilt it to the side. Or if you just, if only a little bit of water is gone, you can just add Just more. add, okay. So, or if you're a bit, like your flowers start to smell, then you should change the water because it's the bacteria. So the flowers might not be dead, it's just, it like, just you stinks. know, bacteria. And most likely, it's because you have leaves in the water. Because that's right. the main thing that makes the bacteria in the water. The leaves. Remember, no we no weaves? <laughs> <laughs> No leaves in the water. <laughs> ah, how much? Okay, how much do you change the water then when there is foam? Um, just you could add water like every. Just two add or, right. Just add water like every That's two right. to three days. If you have the foam, you just add water every two to three days. If you have the chicken wire, then you can pour the water out and then add, add more. more. And one thing people should remember: do not put flowers in hot places. Like, in a window seal with direct sunlight, it's just going to kill them. Okay. You know, I had an older client that would get flowers all the time. She had an old TV, and she put the flowers on top of the TV, oh, under the heater vent, no. and, like, two days later, it was, like, potpourri. <laughs> so, you can't put it on top of, near a hot surface or direct sunlight. Okay. And if you're having an outside event, you should try to... You know, if you can, get umbrellas, or if it's outside and there's a lot of sun, don't put the flowers out until right before, because it literally just well, cooks on. the flowers. Do you ever, um, bro, what is this doing? Do you ever mist yes. the flowers? So, yes, that's a great point. We do that a lot, especially for outdoor events. But for some reason that we don't know exactly, the lisianthus you don't want to spray with water because it closes up. Hmm. So we haven't figured out why, but it definitely has happened. Or you know, rain even like they don't a lot don't grow doesn't grow when there's rain right. because they just close up. So okay. any other flowers, especially hydrangea, that's a great for way misting. to keep your hydrangeas fresher because they do suck in the water from the petals. Or you can just submerge them in water. If your hydrangeas die quickly, you can submerge them in water and usually they come back. Really? Yes. Cold but, water? Yes. Obviously not hot water. Yes. <laughs> or warm water. Yes. Yeah. So definitely cold water, but if you spray the flowers, that definitely can help them. Can help. Okay. This is all very helpful. What else? Okay, is your flower misty? What does that mean? <laughs> Can you put too much water in a vase with hydrangeas? No, I don't think so. No. Because no. they will drink the water quickly, very quickly. Mm, okay. That's typically why people say hydrangeas die so fast if you don't have enough water. water. Somebody said ice and water to keep roses fresh or sugar. 
I've heard people put Advil. Yes. So the actually the flower food is very similar to Advil, or you can put like a cap full of bleach because again that kills the bacteria. Bleach? Yes. We've never used sugar. I have heard that too, but we've never used sugar. But yes, the um, aspirin. It's aspirin, and you break like a little pill, and you break right. it down, and it's the composition is very similar to flower food. And if you put bleach, that doesn't kill the... Um... No, but that's really you put like a cap full. Oh, okay. Like dough. It over, just kills the bacteria. Yeah, so it definitely, and it keeps your water cleaner. But you're right. If you put too much, then it's going <laughs> to kill everything. But about a cap full. Oh, someone just said, is it a fact or myth to put aspirin or salt in the water? Yeah. So salt? again, we've never salt, done sugar? salt or sugar, but okay. the aspirin definitely. The aspirin works. Okay. Works. I have heard that salt and sugar, but we've never tried it, so I can't say about the salt or sugar. But I've heard that too. That the, I'm not never salt, but I have heard sugar. sugar. But definitely an aspirin or bleach works. What is that package that they have attached to store bought flowers? That's flower. That's food. the flower food. Yeah. yeah. Flower food. Okay. What do you call this arrangement? Oh, garden style. That's right, garden style. Somebody, <laughs> somebody said Sprite to bring the flowers back to life or mineral water? Yeah, I've never tried any of those things, but I have heard. Liquor and water? <laughs> that they do. I don't think, yeah, I don't think the alcohol works. But like I said, I have never tried any of those things, <laughs> but a lot of people do say they work. Okay. And I guess maybe mineral water, I would think, I don't think the Sprite would work, but I could see the mineral water working, but I don't know about Sprite. Right. Okay. Because I feel like sugar would add more bacteria, I would think. Right. But I, I don't know for sure about that. We're not going to. So I don't, we're not gonna I try wouldn't it. try sugar <laughs> or Sprite. Hey, Hennessy. No, guys. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I'm positive Hennessy doesn't work. I'm definitely positive with it. Uh, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yes, thank you so much. Floral arrangement class. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I have had so much fun. This is like a secret little love of mine. I'll have like little vases at home and put, you know, random arrangements together, but nothing this detailed um yeah all right make sure you guys follow christina at team scarlet wait one last question okay. best bathroom plants hmm. that's a good question uh um, it depends on how hot your bathroom is too or mm -hmm. if you have a lot of windows i mean if you're not good with plants Succulents are your best bet. Yeah, they're easy. Yes, and so. snake plants are very easy too. They like come up. They're green with like little dots, kind of. Yeah, I'm trying to think it would. Yeah, they're air purifiers too. So maybe yeah. snake plants. Are oh, and the best. then there's an air plant. That's good. You don't have to give it a lot of water. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm to think of what would be. Hmm. I'll have to. Get back to you. She's on more that. of a flower girl. Yes, the ocean. Yeah. And we do plant, like I said, we do a lot of like we do plant a lot of orchid plants as well. But orchids I wouldn't recommend for the bathroom because of the steam. Oh, right. so they can't they definitely can't be hot. Yeah. Um, and you can't so have your orchids green, in, in the bathroom. We gotta yeah. have them in like your living room or your kitchen or so yeah, a green any type of green plant I would think would work well or like I said, a succulent. In the bathroom. Yeah, okay. and then most plants should be watered once a week to 10 days. Plants? Yes. Okay. Um, succulents, you could water them like once a month. Yeah. But any other plant, especially if you're in, side note on that, if your orchids are turning, if the leaves are turning yellow, you're watering them too much. That's the common, most common mistake that people make. Wait. When the leaves start, like the leaves on the bottom start turning yellow, that means that you're watering it too, too much. much. 
And aren't orchids, you're supposed to water, water them only every... Um, seven to ten days, yeah. Every, okay, every seven to ten days. And you can use the ice cubes. That helps the water get more even as well. So that's you how you can not, yes. Yeah, that's how you can not overwater it as well. Uh, if you use ice cubes. Once a week? Yes. Okay, ice cubes once a week. If your orchid leaves turn yellow, too much water. Oh, look at this. Sorry, I'm like fascinated with everything right now. Look at these. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. So how, wait, is this the silver? No. So what that, is this? That, that's like the spiral eucalyptus and it's oh, the spiral. hydrated and then died. Oh, oh, they're just bigger. Because yeah. I'm used to like this type in my shower. Let me see. So this is one of the types that we use. This is the that's what we use, the right? The gun eye eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. And then let's see. Yeah, I think we have some silver. Here. But this is what, so this is a silver dollar. It's oh, just this hydrated is? and dried. Ah. Uh. This is so pretty. This is another type of eucalyptus. You guys I mean, not these? silver dollar. I didn't mean to say silver dollar. This is spiral. Spiral. No, we buy them in downtown. Oh, okay. Because it's a whole process to and dehydrate them and then is, they last forever. They do. I've bought them before. They've yeah. like they've lasted a long time. And dyeing them doesn't um No, they're special flower dye. Oh. You, there's flower spray paint and then oh, flower dye. What are use. these? They're called bunny tails. Bunny tails. Yeah, and so they're just different colors. Oh, wow. What? I mean, this is a the way we thought it would just right out. I think this one's silk, yeah. Yeah, that one's silk, though. Silk flower? Yeah, it's plastic. Oh. Wait, so are these real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, these are real. So, like I said, these are real, these are so real soft. and then they, they go through this dehydration process, and then they die them. They're so fluffy. Yeah, like a bunny Ooh, tail. Yeah. Orchids, my favorite. Beautiful. Okay. I guess, I guess it's time to wrap it up. <laughs> like, just try to look at other flowers and other things. Okay. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys learned a couple of things because I learned a lot. And next time, we'll do another class. Right. We'll do something, I don't know, something different. Maybe we'll do second. We could do it like a second garden. Oh, I've never. Yeah, because then you can keep it garden, like, a, like something for your living room or something. Yes. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you, Christina. Bye. This Thank was you. so much fun. All right, make sure you guys follow Christina at Teeth Scarlet. If you're in LA, support her. She makes the most beautiful arrangements. I've gotten the best compliments from people I've sent arrangements to. Anyways, you guys have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Wait, I always forget how do I do that.